What's good, y'all? What's happening, man? It's Flyer Kicks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time here, man, I appreciate you for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there, put that positive energy manifestation. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. Technically, we had 994 subscribers, but I'm going to go ahead and thank y'all for a thousand, man. I know it's coming. Um, it's probably going to be before I do my next video, man. So thank y'all for helping me reach a thousand. I'm definitely going to do a giveaway coming soon. I'm going to do a separate video just for the giveaway, a quick video explaining how I'm going to do that. But thank y'all for helping me make it to a thousand, man. It's been a long time coming, just the beginning still, and we're going to keep riding, keep going to the top. But go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the Frequent Flyers Club. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Drop a like. Drop a comment if you like the content. And last but not least, man, I got my IG name listed right here down below. Head over to IG, man. Give me a follow. Let's interact on there as well. Now, as usual, man, let's get right into the shoe, man. Enough talking. Let's get into it. Here we have the colorful rainbow Nike Dunk uh, Quick Strike box with the yellow, red, blue, and green on the top. Nike SB going across in white. Um, the tag on this joint reads, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike in a Game Royal Cell in Gray Fog colorway. This is a size 11, uh, wasn't able to get my size, but this is close enough. Go ahead, try to swap these joints out, get to that 11 and a half and 12. And this may be that uh, fifth person to stay in the collection this year, but we'll see once I get my size. But let's get into it, man. Same uh, old box top, nothing special about the box. Same SB paper, but let's get into the shoes, man. Let's get into it. Here we have the Nike SB Doug Low Pro in collaboration with Fly Street Wear. This is the Gardenia pair, man. And these joints are really, really clean, really nice details and super dope materials, bro. Let's get into the shoe. Now the details on this shoe are in reference to um, a white J orchid flower, which is typically sold by elderly people um, in Shanghai, man. So that's what you get with this swoosh. This is a representation of the flower. That's why it comes like 3D stitched in a nice um, silk embroidered swoosh. And it has like um, the petals of the flower here with the lace that are falling off they have like petals of the flower the metal piece on the back is in reference to um, them using like metal hooks or wires to um, attach the flowers together or to pin the flowers um, onto your shirt a lot of people would um, typically use this flower as a perfume that's why like on some of the packaging and on the back of the half zip that they released it says the fragrance of Shanghai people use this as perfume not necessarily as a spray on but the flower carries a um, I'm assuming a strong scent and people use it as a perfume if they don't have any perfume on or they just want to use this smell they'll clip it to their clothes and um, it will give them a perfume vibe now getting to the back of the shoe man that green suede is in reference to the stalk of the actual plant this nice blue long hair suede is in reference to the lining of the baskets that they use to um, carry around the actual flowers that they're selling they're um, always laced in the blue fabric, and um, that's why they got the deep blue, um, nice touch with the uh, uh, suede that they used on this shoe. On the inside of the shoe, they have the embroidered like 3 d swoosh as well, man, which is a really, really nice touch. Now, on the back of the shoe, they have the white J orchid flower embroidered onto the shoe. And right here, this little loop, man, that's usually what they use as a metal piece to hook the flowers together and to attach to your clothes. And that's the reference piece for this metal piece as well. I like this nice green pop as a reference to the stalk of the plant, man. It just really gives like super nice details. And that's one thing I love about Nike SBs, man. They always go like super duper in depth with the details of the shoe. Like no matter what kind of collab it is, man, they always give like a great story. And um, if you do the research or if you just kind of read up on it a little bit, you'll understand why every detail of most Nike SBs are on the shoe. They're not just throwing colors on there a lot of the times. Unless it's just a regular release, they do sometimes. But with the collabs, um, they're always doing like really, really great storytelling. And um, this is a dope pair. Now, Fly Streetwear is a brand and a shop in uh, Shanghai. They did do a really dope special box with these. And I spoke earlier about the blue referencing um, the basket that they use to carry around the flowers. So they did a woven shoe box, like a basket style shoe box. And that was pretty dope. It was laced with the blue fabric on the inside. And um, it really, really brought out what they were trying to um, convey when they were designing this shoe, man. I wish I had a chance to grab that special box, but I'm 99% sure it only released in stores. 
And um, of course, I'm not in Shanghai, so I didn't have a chance. But when you get a chance, man, uh, look up that box. I even drop a picture right here. And they do have a, like a small video of them putting a the box together. And it's super dope, man. I'll drop a small clip, not too much. But just check this out when you get a chance. It's on their Instagram. And it's a really, really dope packaging. Now, as far as the other panels on the shoe, man, this gray mid panel is a nice low new book. Same with the back of the shoe. This gray is like a nice low uh, soft new book as well. Really, really nice materials. Um, on that toe box is a really, really tumbled soft leather. Same going with the tongue, man. Really soft plush leather on that tongue. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro on that tongue tag. It has the white J orchid on the inside with some Chinese calligraphy. It has a pure cell on that midsole. Gray outsole with light speckles, like some light black and blue speckles on that outsole. Has the cream color foam exposed, bro. This is a super dope pair. Really, really dope. Really detailed. And um, I like this shoe, man. It's probably the best SB um, actual dunk to release so far this year, if I'm not mistaken. Can I think of anything that's just really, really crazy that was better than these? Uh, I don't think anything was better than these. I know I grabbed those blueberries this year. So maybe you can count those, I guess. But this one is probably the best SB to release so far, bro. This one is really nice. I like this one a lot. Now getting to the right shoe, it's the same as far as details and materials, bro. Really, really nice tumble leather. Really nice blue suede. Um, some low grade new book. Has that same 3D embroidered um, swoosh on the outside representing that white J orchid. Has that green hit on the backside representing the stalk of the plant, man. Same cell midsole, gray outsole, bro. Same thing on the right shoe, but on the tongue, it does have the Fly logo, and then it says Fly SW, which stands for uh, Fly Streetwear. Really, really nice touch, so they went with the mismatch on the tongue. One says Nike SB, and the other has the Fly logo. Nice touch, I like that. Fly kicks, you know I had to grab the Fly Dunks, bro. It's only right, it's only right. Now these joints do come with rope laces factory installed, man. I like the rope laces a lot. It's a nice touch. I just wish that was a little thicker. They look thin um, on the shoe. I'm not sure if it's, if it's because of all the padding or what, but it look kind of thin to me. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these rope laces. I like the look of it. Wish they were a little thicker, um, just like regular SB lace um, size. And on the ends of the rope laces, they do have um, just these green tips referring to the stock of the plant as well. And they come with the extra set of regular white um, SB laces. I wish the rope laces were this thick as compared to the thickness that they um, are, but nothing too much to complain about. Nothing too much to complain about. I just would rather the rope laces be just slightly thicker. Still a nice touch. Still look really good, man. And um, this is a dope shoe, bro. This is a dope shoe. Now, if you were able to grab these joints, man, I just want to say congratulations to you, bro. These joints seem to be very, very limited. I didn't see a lot of sneakers W's as far as skate shops. Um, I didn't see many local W's for skate shops as well. Some of our skate shops do first come, first serve out here, but everyone did raffles this time. Didn't see many W's um, going out. Not many resellers, not many collectors um, were able to come across these that I've seen or that I personally know. Um, I've seen a lot more wins with the SB4s than I did with these, so I'm pretty sure the Skate Shops probably had a lot more 4s because that was a special release um, rather than this SB right here. But a super clean pair, bro. If you can grab them, I say go ahead and do so. Now, another dope detail i like to point out, man. They did do special insoles on these joints. They have the Chinese calligraphy. I'm not sure exactly what it say. I'm going to assume Fly Streetwear, maybe. But um, one has the um, YJ Orchid on it, one has Nike SB, but they have the same um, wording on there in the Chinese text. Super dope, man. I always like special insoles. I like the packaging to be over the top if you're going to do a collab. And if you can see the material, this joint is like a satin, like shinyish material. Super nice, bro. I like this pair a lot, bro. I'm pretty sure this one will feel good um, with some nice socks, and this one will feel good on your feet, bro. Nice padding. I like these joints, bro. I like the special insoles. It's a nice touch to it. Now, as far as pricing on these joints, they did retail for 120 bucks plus tax. That was 130 in Texas out the door. Um, resell on these is it's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy. A lot of the um, SB collabs lately haven't been doing just crazy numbers out the door. But the big sizes in these are like 250 to 280. Smaller sizes are 200 to 240, man. So definitely um, a high dollar shoe as far as collabs go they were kind of limited so i'm pretty sure that factors into um that price being so high up there right now um sneakers pairs just start coming in yesterday and today and they'll probably continue shipping throughout the week so we'll see 
where their price falls in the next two weeks, but I don't see these joints going below like that 225 to 250 mark, man. We'll see, bro. It's a nice colorway, white and blue. Has the gray hits, a little bit of green throwing it off, just a little bit. But other than that, bro, it's a neutral shoe. People like the sell, people like the rope laces. Um, and it's a really good material. Limited numbers, bro. I think that price is gonna stay up there for the most part, man. But overall, that just about wraps it up for this video, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these. Were you able to cop? If so, where from? Are you paying resale on them? What's your budget? Just leave me some comments. Leave me some feedback. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these. I like them a lot, bro. Definitely one of the doper dunks as of recently. I don't know if anything's gonna top this so far for the year. I'm mean, outside of like the Jordan 4 HB releases and things like that. This is a really dope dunk. Super dope colorway, super dope materials, man. Just leave your honest opinion, bro. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one, man. We got the Nike SB Low by Fly Streetwear, the Gardenia joints. Until next time on the next video, man. Peace.